Professor Fei, what are the sources of growth in China? Um, well, um, uh, in the last two decades, actually, we rely on uh, globalization and uh, industrialization. So that's the main reason why the uh, uh, growth rate in the last two decades is very high. The average annual growth rate in the last two decades is something above 9.5%. But then in the future, I think the engine for China's growth will gradually shift from globalization, industrialization to urbanization, which means more um, rely on the service sector and uh, more rely on the domestic uh, uh, demand. Do you think China will play an important role in global absorption? Uh, China is al al already um, undergoing a uh, shift of the rebalancing. So previously, uh, before the global financial crisis, the uh, current account surplus in China is actually uh, very high. And that's um, kind of abnormal because for the uh, most period during the last three decades, the main source for China's growth coming from domestic demand, mm -hmm. including domestic investment and uh, mm -hmm. consumption. Mm -hmm. But only started from the year 2005 and then 2006, 2007, and uh, net export become one of the main engine for China's growth. Yeah. The current, current account surplus, uh, especially trade surplus, is declining. Mm -hmm. And given the long-term trend, uh, for example, the uh, aging problem that China is uh, now facing and also given the um, ongoing process of urbanization, I would like to predict that in the future the uh, current account surplus in China will further decline and which means that um, we'll import more and that will be a good news for the trade partner. Thank you very much. Okay, my pleasure.